personal opinion moment inbound. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another tier list video. I say welcome back, but we haven't properly done a tier list video. I had a look back on the channel, and we did that bracket fight with the FNAF characters to determine which one was my favorite, but we've never actually done a tier list video. Of course, this all changes today and eventually sometime in the future when the which FNAF game is the best one in the worst video comes out, which, I mean, who knows what's going on with that video, am I right, boys? <laughs> uh, help me. Video's doing fine, I just need a bit more time to work on it because I've been lazy and I don't like the way I'm making it so far. Anyways, getting back to this video, because we are not going to have skins for a little bit in FNAF AR, I thought now would be a perfect time to make a tier list for which ones I think look the best, handle the best, in-game, and other factors that we will get to later. Keep in mind, this is all my opinion. For some reason, people are still like, oh, why would you put that person in the bottom tier? They're clearly the best. That's your opinion. You know what? Good for you. You think they're good? That's great. I don't. I tweeted earlier today that I was going to be making this video, and I asked for your guys' opinion on these characters. So I tweeted out the poll. I tweeted out the tier list. And you guys have some opinions that I don't agree with, but I didn't reply to you guys like, oh wow, you think so-and-so character is better than this character? How stupid of you. I didn't do that. It's because it's your guys' opinion. I know I'm on this for a long time, but for some reason, people don't understand that other people think differently than you. Anyways, so I have all of the skins from the first one, which is Shamrock Freddy, all the way up to the most recent one, which is Flaming Springtrap. Freddy Frostbear and 8-Bit Baby are not on this list because they are not actually skins, they're for some reason characters. So how about this, let's not waste any more time, and this is the tier list. As you can see, it goes from SS all the way down to F. Should probably change that to double S because otherwise some people might think that means something that it definitely does not. Okay, I tried changing it and it doesn't work, so we're just gonna go with that. And I had these guys ordered from, oh my god, earliest to most recent, but I guess they changed. There we go. So, as you can see, we have Shamrock Freddy, Chocolate Bonnie, Easter Bonnie, VR Toy Freddy, High Score, Toy Chica, System Arrow Toy Bonnie, Radio Active Foxy, Toxic, Springtrap, uh, Firework Freddy, I think that's his name, Liberty Chica, Flamethrower Bear Endo, Broiler Baby, Scorching Chica, and Flaming Springtrap. Those are all the skins we have as of August 16th, 2020. So again, let's not waste any more time and let's get tier listing. So Sham Rock Freddy. I actually really like this guy. I don't know why. Maybe because he is the first skin, but I really do like him. I don't think he's... I don't think he's SS tier. I don't think he's S tier. He's probably around maybe an A or B for me. And I will after I put everyone up on the tier list go, go on and change it up a bit afterwards. But for right now... I'm putting him at a solid B. I think he's nice. I like the green, I like the gold microphone, I like the gold chains. Overall, I just think he's a very cool character, even though his design is so simple. Chocolate Bonnie. I like this guy too. I think out of uh, these two Bonnie skins, Chocolate Bonnie is my favorite, so don't at me. I really, again, I really do like him. Um, I will say, it was only up until after, maybe, maybe this guy, Radioactive Foxy, that they had their own custom animations in the workshop, but, you know, even without the new animation, Chocolate Bonnie's still really cool. I like, I just like his overall idea, and it might be me, because I do like getting chocolate on Easter Day, but I really do like that he has a bite taken out of him, I like his new buttons, I like his eyes, his pink nose, all that stuff. So honestly, I'm kind of feeling an S. Alright, now I know you guys are probably going to hate me for that, but then again, it is my opinion, and I will change this afterwards, but I really like Chocolate Bonnie. Easter Bonnie's alright, I don't think I like, I definitely don't like him more than Chocolate Bonnie, maybe I might not like him more than Shammy? I call him Shammy, by the way, if you're new. Uh, Easter Bonnie, he's nice. Uh, again, I mean, there's nothing really new with him. It's kind of like a, a white chocolate Bonnie, you could say, without the chocolate texture. I'm not sure what they were going with Easter Bonnie. If I'm being honest, I know he says like Happy Easter, Happy Eater on his tag right here, but overall it's like, what were they trying to do with him? Now, the Arcade may Mayhem skins, I thoroughly enjoy these guys, I really do. Uh, especially Toy Bonnie, I mean, uh, Toy Freddy and Toy Chica because they have their two separate skins, right? You have VR Toy Freddy and then, I honestly have no clue what this guy's called. I know for Toy Chica, it's High Score Toy Chica and then Game Over. Toy Chica, so if you guys know what this guy's called, tell me in the comments. But it's definitely gonna be an A or more. Uh, by the way, if Frost Bear was on here, he'd be going in SS. I mean, clearly. 8-Bit Baby, I don't know where I would put her. 
maybe like a solid A or S, I do really like her. But because they're not skins, they're not on the list. So, going back to VR Toy Freddy, I do, I do like him. I really do like him. So probably, probably an A for now. I might, again, I'm definitely gonna come back and change him. High score and game over Toy Chica. Hmm. I feel like she's, she's on the same level as VR Toy Freddy, maybe? Because she has the 8-bit cupcake and again, the two skins. So I'm probably gonna, for now, put her at an A ranking along with VR Toy Freddy. And I know I'm going pretty fast at the start, but uh, trust me, I got a lot more to talk about when we come to the later characters, um, and then also when I rearrange the list. So System Error Toy Bonnie, I definitely do like him. I like his design, I like the particles that come off of him. But honestly, I don't think I like him as much as these two. His design is cool, I get what they were going for, but... I don't know, man. He doesn't have those two skins, so I'm probably gonna put him along with Shamrock Freddy. Probably a little bit behind Shammy. Again, I'll probably go back and rearrange that because I have a feeling not many people are gonna like having Shammy ahead of System A or freaking Toy Bonnie. So Radioactive Foxy, all right? This guy is, this guy's interesting because this, this guy, right, I don't get the appeal for him. Same thing with, like, Toxic Springtrap and Flaming Springtrap, but we'll get to those guys later. I don't get why so many people like this skin. The only thing I like about it is that he has two hooks. Other than that, it's just green glowing foxy. I definitely do like him more than Easter Bonnie. I don't think I like him more than System Arrow Toy Bonnie. Do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I just have a thing for green characters, right? Yeah, may maybe, maybe even a bit more than Shamrock. I might put him in a B tier for now. So Toxic Springtrap. Again, I saw this on so many people's tier lists as being like up near the S's, at least an A, but honestly, God, on honestly, again, just like Radioactive Foxy, I don't see the appeal, right? It's just Springtrap with some purple goo and guts all over him. I definitely do kind of like the design. I think the bubbles are a nice touch, especially when they're like moving around and the animation and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I don't- I really don't know. I'm gonna put him in a C for now. In front of or behind Easter Bonnie? I'm gonna say in front of, but I'll, I'm definitely gonna come back, because again, I know you guys are gonna hate on me so much. Uh, Firework Freddy. Firework Freddy was an interesting character. I don't think many people were- I don't think many people were expecting a 4th of July skin. Um, but when they came out, it was like, okay, sure, I guess they're here. Um, Firework Freddy. Weird character. Very, very strange character. Um, I definitely love the rocket and how he's charging at you with it. I love that. Um, his animation's cool too, how he like flicks his sunglasses up and down. So, that alone is probably gonna put him maybe, definitely in a B tier probably. I probably, I, I should probably move these guys up a bit, but I'll save that for later. So, for now, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him ahead of Radioactive Foxy, again, for now. I know I keep saying, oh, I'll put this guy here for now, and then later I'll come back and change it, but it's because I have to constantly remind you guys so I can stop you from going, oh man, you put that character there? I'm like, just hold up, because I'm not done. Hopefully you guys understand, because when people make tier list videos, the viewers and the commenters just go absolutely nuts. Be patient, this is just my initial pick. So Liberty Chica is up next, and I think, again, another interesting character because it's part of the 4th of July event, nobody saw that coming. So, Liberty Chica's nice. I like the cupcake, I like the, um, the, I know it's not rust, it's like carbon. Ah, it's, it's oxidized copper, not carbon. Um, okay, so, yeah. I like that, I like how they have the, the plaque with the 4th of July thing on it. Flaming Call of the Cupcake, though, that's gotta be my favorite thing about this entire skin. Um, I think it's up there. I think it's definitely up there. I, I'm having a lot of B characters right now, and again, I gotta go back and change that. But I think for now, I will put the... I'll put them right here for now. Again, there's a lot of green characters in that area. So now I move on to the most recent event in the game, and that is the Sizzling Summer event, with the Flamethrower Bear Endo, Broiler Baby, Scorching Chica, and the uh, Flaming Springtrap. <laughs> I was like, no, there's gotta be a more creative name, but no, that's it. So Flamethrower Bear Endo, I know not many people are going to agree with me on this, but personally, <laughs> like, he's up there. He is so freaking cool, and I don't think he gets enough credit. I love the fact that they turned the endoskeleton into a welder with a flamethrower. And he's got like the, the welder helmet on too. 
honestly, it's so cool. Now, my main problem with this uh, recent event, the Sizzling Summer event, is the fact that fire particles just don't work with this game. Right, when you're in the actual AR section and you're hunting for them on your phone, like, flame particles don't show up. Uh, because of like optimization for certain phones and like technical stuff like that so that's my least favorite thing about the, these new four characters and we're gonna get to these two in a little bit trust me um but yeah in the workshop he just he blows it away literally with the fire he, he blows that that crap everywhere and it's so cool i fucking love flamethrower bear endo and i've been saying it throughout all my Recent special delivery videos on this event, but he is my favorite. Not only for the event, but apparently for the entire game as well. Um, but who knows, maybe things will change with Broiler Baby. Heads up, I like her, okay? Definitely not as much as Flamethrower Bear Endo, but she definitely is up there. Honestly, I think, I, I mean, I, I put her here just so I could talk about this guy, but I think the A category is a good place for her. Whether she's in front of these two skins, VR Toy Freddy and High Score Toy Chica, I don't really know, because as cool as these two characters are, uh, they don't have the- they don't have the, uh, sorry about that, I got distracted. They don't have the custom animation. Honestly, I fucking love the broiler that Baby has, so for now, I'm gonna put her there. But again, these two, like, Broiler Baby and Endo-01 Flamethrower Dude, they're great. I fucking love those guys. And I said in my videos, I said if they keep doing skins like this, because I believe this was after their like two week break, if they keep doing skins like this, I I will praise them. But then they came out with Scorching Chica and Flaming Springtrap. Automatic Ds. Congratulations, you guys screwed yourselves. They're just the characters on fire. I, I mean, I put them this way for a reason. I think Scorching Chica is a bit better than um, Flaming Springtrap because, and I again, I know you guys are gonna hate me on this, so let me explain before you type your comment. They're literally just the character on fire. Maybe I'll put them ahead of these guys, but like, really, the only thing I like about them is their workshop animation, right? What they look like in the workshop, because really, that's that's the best place to view these four new characters is because the particle fire effects can actually appear in the workshop. Also, they have their custom animations, which I love for all four of these. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging. Uh, first off, let's start with these guys. Um, so SS is like is like the top tier, what I really want them to keep doing. And if I had to, if I had to pick, honestly, I can't, I know you, you guys are gonna make fun of me, right? You're not gonna be just mad at me, you're gonna be making fun of me now in the comments. But like, again, when this guy came out, I, I said, if they keep doing skins like this, I'm gonna start loving this game again. And they did, but then they just, they, they screwed themselves. A Lumix, you had a good thing going for yourselves, and then you just threw it out the window. Bonnie? I might, I can't, I might keep him at an S. I might keep him there. I think he's good. I definitely do like him a lot. Um, is he better than Endo? <laughs> Flamethrowing fucking bear Endo, right? I just realized that my, my favorite skin is of bear freaking endo are you kidding me what is wrong with me whatever it's my opinion um these guys i'm probably gonna keep here uh yeah so moving on to the b tier might move sister mayo bonnie up a bit thinking about it now this guy's not all that good shammy i love you man um put you put you here i don't think i'm gonna put anyone in the f tier um because truly i don't think any of them are terrible skins that Illumix should regret making. I think they, they're they all good in their own way. Um, so, again, going back to these. Um, Firework Friday I like. I like you. Uh, yes, okay. I'm, I'm fine with I'm fine with B category. Moving on to C. I think I think I'm good here. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure this is my final kill list. Okay? I know people are gonna make fun of me so hard for having Endo 01 up there. But I think that this is it, and maybe my opinion will change the more the more skins we get for characters. We all know that Lefty's coming out very, very soon. He's coming out the very end of August, the final week of August. So he's probably gonna have some skins. So we're gonna have to check those out, see where they go on the tier list. Maybe later this year I'll come back and I'll update it if they keep releasing skins. I don't know if they're gonna go back to releasing one every week. 
I wouldn't want them to do that. I'd rather them stick to making characters. Even if we have to wait like two months, I'm fine with that. I think skins are a good addition. You know, they definitely kept us occupied during uh, during the pandemic as Illumix was walking from their house. I do appreciate skins. I'm also making this video to show you guys that as much as I crap on FNAF AR, right? As much as I say, oh my god, this game is terrible, Illumix, what are you doing? I do love, I do love the game. And in a certain way, in a very, <laughs> very specific way, I love the game. And I do really, really do appreciate Illumix. Again, I know I give them a lot of crap for a lot of stuff that they do with the game. Um, prices, skins, all that stuff. I definitely do love them. I love the people walking there. I definitely do love FNAF AR. As much as I crap on it, I definitely do still love it. So that's another reason why I made this video to show, even though I crap on the game, I definitely do still love it. I love the people walking on it, and I definitely do still love its content. So again, this is my tier list. You cannot agree with me. That is completely fine. Leave a dislike on the video. See if I care. Uh, I will leave it linked down below. I created this tier list myself, so if you want to go make your own tier list, you can tweet them at me, at JohnnyBlocks on Twitter. Again, I tweeted out earlier, and seeing your guys' tier list has been really, really interesting. Right? Maybe we can have a talk <laughs> in the comment section, like, why would you put this character here? I'm just kidding. Um, I, I completely respect all your guys' opinions, so hopefully you respect mine. You listen? So yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.